So a key topic I want to talk about is the water pan. More specifically, do not use water when you're using a smart fire and a bullet smoker. It's very simple, that's my opinion. Um, some people do it with water and have okay results, but when you're around 200 Fahrenheit, you often see these problems where it's, you know, it's trying to get up to temperature but not sitting there exactly. It's kind of like a seesaw with the water content, it boiling, uh, the smart fire trying to control your fire. It's just a lot easier overall to have rock stable temperatures on a bullet using no water in your water pan. So what do you do instead? The answer is volcanic rock. You can pick up a bag, a three, five kilo bag of this at your local hardware store for like $5. Um, it's very easy. Now, just be aware that inside this volcanic rock has tiny little air pockets. So on the first couple cooks, they can explode. So it's very important to cover them up. Um, during those first couple cooks, you could cook it dry without anything else in the smoker, or you could do what I do and either get a uh, terracotta pot base and lay it over the top. You can get one of them for about $10 from your hardware store. And if you take along your water bowl, it might be slightly larger than your water bowl, but that's the perfect size. Um, you can also use a pizza stone like I do, because it's just nice and easy. Coat it in alfoil so it's easy to clean afterwards. And it sits there perfectly on top as a perfect sealer. Um, it adds extra temperature ballast as well. and just means it's really easy to cook. And then when you're assembling your bullet smoker, just lock it for stability on this table. You just sit it in there. And you know you have the temp perfect temperature ballast. No issues with the water. You don't need to clean monkey water the day after. Um, cleaning is as simple as ripping off the alfoil and replacing it later on. Dead easy is the professional tip when you're using a bullet smoker. Get rid of the water.